Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we're going to be looking at the foreign tax credit. This topic is covered in an income tax course, CPA exam regulation section, as well as the enrolled agent exam. As always, I would like to remind you, my viewers, to connect with me on a professional level, which is LinkedIn. If you don't have a LinkedIn account, I strongly suggest you do create one. Or Facebook, you can like my Facebook page, connect with me on a personal level. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. This is where I house all my lectures. So this way you are aware of any additional lectures. Please like my YouTube, share them, put them in playlist so other people can benefit as well. I do have a Twitter account and on my website, you can find additional lectures organized by course and chapter. This recording is brought to you by Jaeger CPA Review. If you like this recording, you can find hundreds of hours of video lectures as well as thousands of multiple choice questions with detailed solution, simulation, textbook, CPA textbook. So if you're a CPA or CPA candidate, or if you are just a, a college student, you can supplement your resources, you can supplement your courses with those resources, audio lectures, electronic flashcards, plus others. If you happen to use Jaeger, use the PMF code and you will get 10% off of the best valued course. You will benefit yourself and benefit this channel. So today we're going to be working with the foreign tax credit. So what's the foreign tax credit? What's the purpose for it? The purpose for it is to avoid double taxation. Why? You as citizens and green card holders, what you have to do is this. Your income, uh, your income, whether it's earned in the U.S. or outside the U.S., it's subject to taxation in the U.S. So here's what happened. Let's assume this is the U.S. of A. And this is country A. Now, if you make any money in country A, you're still going to have to pay taxes in the U.S. But you, you also are going to have to pay taxes in that country as well. So you're going to pay taxes in that country and you're going to pay taxes on the same income in the U.S.A. So what's happening is you have double taxation. You are being taxed on that money twice. So the U.S. government says, now, as long as we have an agreement with that country, it's not, it doesn't support terrorism and other conditions, we'll give you a credit. Okay, so let's take a look at the rules to see how this works. So the purpose of the foreign tax credit is to mitigate the double taxation since income earned in a foreign country is also subject to the U.S., so it's subject to the, U the U.S. as well as that foreign country. So you are being taxed twice on the same income. So credit applies to both individuals and corporations that pay foreign income taxes. So this applies to individuals as well as corporations. Instead of claiming a credit, you could always claim a deduction. But remember, generally speaking, the credit should give you more of a tax benefit than a deduction. Now, how much is the credit? The credit is allowed for the lesser of. So you have to choose the less, lesser of two figures. What you paid... But what you paid cannot exceed the portion of U.S. tax attributable to their foreign income. So what's going to happen, it's we're going to compare what you paid, then assume if you earn this income in the U.S., how much you'll be, you, will be, you will be subject in the U.S. Okay, if you paid more taxes, guess what? And we're not going to give you credit for that, or at least it will be unused credit. And there's a formula to compute this. Okay. And the formula is you'll take your foreign source taxable income divided by your World War taxable income multiplied by the U.S. income tax liability before the foreign tax credit. And this is going to give you your U.S. tax attributable to the foreign tax. And again, we'll work an example to see how this works. Let's assume you have unused foreign tax credit. You cannot use it. You could go back one year or you can carry it forward for 10 years. So any unused, don't worry, you'll be able to use it later, assuming you need it. Okay, let's take a look at an example. Kim reported worldwide taxable income of $84,010 that include $1,000 in foreign sources. Okay, so your let's uh, let's keep going. Her U.S. tax liability is $18,273. She paid foreign taxes of two fifty dollars on the foreign income. Kim is entitled. So let's 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 let me just show you in a moment, real quick. If you take two fifty divided by a thousand dollar, that's going to give you a twenty five percent. What did I do? I just I, I said I paid foreign taxes of two hundred and fifty dollars on income of a thousand. Therefore, the foreign country charged basically I, I paid an effective rate of twenty five percent. Okay, now now this is not part of the formula. I just wanted to show you that you paid twenty five percent. Okay, now in the U.S., okay, if you reported uh, your worldwide taxable income is eighty-four thousand, 
ten dollars that included the thousand dollar so if you take that one thousand dollar what you're left with is eighty three thousand and ten dollars so that's your us of a income and your tax liability is eighteen thousand two hundred and seventy three that's based on everything that's based on everything okay so what you have to do is you have to back out if you back out um if you back out a thousand dollar well let, let's see what's your like a, a rough figure let's see what's your tax rate in the u.s on average how much did you pay on average let's just take a look at it you paid the uh, eighteen thousand two seventy three for an income of approximately eighty three thousand and ten dollars this is what you paid so let me just so it just gives you an idea before we do the computation i just want to show you what you should do first basically ballpark it divided by eighty three thousand and ten dollars so your us rate is 22 whoops your us rate approximately your us rate is approximately 22 percent well you paid 25 percent rate do you think they're going to give you credit for the full 25 percent most probably not you're not going to get the full credit of 250. do you guys see why because if i computed your us rate it's approximately it's not accurate approximately 22 percent so let's take a look at the actual formula although she, you pay 250 in foreign tax the credit is limited to 218. so how do we compute this we'll take your foreign sources taxable income divided by your worldwide taxable income and this is the proper formula don't follow this formula this is formula just to kind of ballpark it for you just so it gives you like some intuitive uh, sense of things okay so your share your foreign share is a thousand out of 84 times 18,273 times your taxes so if you earn this money in the US you would have paid 20 218 dollars so approximately your us rate as i told you approximately 22 it's 28 21.8 your effective rate therefore guess what we're only going to give you credit for the effective rate that you would pay in the us although you paid 250 i'm sorry if they charge you more we're not going to give you credit for that hopefully this make this makes sense okay if Kim foreign taxes paid were 218 or less, the limitation would not apply and her credit would be equal to the amount of the foreign taxes paid. If she paid less than 218, then we'll give she will get the full credit 218. Anything below 218, she'll get the full credit because if she earned that money in the US, her taxes will be 218. Therefore, as long as you pay 218, we're going to give you a credit for 218. Hopefully this makes sense. But again, don't use my intuition. Use the formula because that's the proper way to do it. I just want to give you an idea how it works. Okay let's look at another example okay maybe this will reinforce what we just did gina paid foreign income taxes of 1326 on a foreign income of 18 8120 now i'm going to do this but again you don't have to do this 1326 divided by 8112 this is approximately i'm ballparking approximately 16 percent her worldwide taxable income was 91,400 and her US tax liability is 23,000. Again, um, real quick, you can ballpark it. Um, if I take uh, 23,000 divided by 91,400, let me do this. 23 divided by 91, this is just the ballpark, 25%. So in the US, in the US, she's paying approximately 25%. Now, what do you think when we do the computation? Would she get the full credit, the full 1326? I would say most probably yes. But again, let's not guess. Let's go ahead and compute the formula. Okay, let's compute the formula. Okay, so how do we compute the formula? We're going to take her foreign source taxable income which is 8,112. We're going to divide it by the worldwide taxable income, which is 91,400. We're going to multiply this by the taxes. Let's see. So 8,112 divided by 91,400. So her foreign income represents approximately 8.8% 8 .8 of her income multiplied by 23,000, the tax rate. So the, the tax credit is 2,000. Whoops is $2,041. Can we give her a tax credit of $2,041? No, we cannot. She paid only $1,326. So she's going to get a full credit. She's going to get a full credit 
for the taxes that she paid, but we're not gonna give her 2041, because if she earned this money in the US, she would have paid 2041, but the credit is the lesser of 1326 or 2041. The lesser is 1326, okay? Now, what would be allowed, uh, what, what would be allowed the, uh, what would be the allowed foreign tax credit if Jenna had paid foreign income taxes of 2400 real quick let's just just do this if she paid 2400 on 8112 just kind of real quick to this computation before we do the actual computation 2400 divided by 8012 her rate is 29% so she paid 29% guess what in this situation we'll do the computation again and she's going to get 2041 then yes we're gonna give her 2041 dollars in in tax credit because she paid 2900 and i told you she paid approximately 29 percent under the scenario in the u.s she's paying approximately 25 so we're gonna give her credit a foreign tax credit of 2041 okay and she's gonna have leftovers 2041 and she's gonna have approximately how much of unused tax credit 2400 minus 2041 2400 clear 2400 minus 2041 2041 and she's going to have a credit of 350 359 she can carry this credit backward one year forward 10 years okay hopefully this will give give you an idea about how foreign tax paid work now this is a simplified version of it there's a one whole chapter about international taxation but this is what you need to know basically for an income tax course unless you are taking an advanced international taxation and i would say this will be uh well you have to talk with we you know we talked about the uh, exclusion the amount of foreign income excluded so between the foreign tax credit and the amount of income exclusion that's good enough for the CPA exam, in my opinion. Uh, that's what you need to know. If you have any questions, any comments, by all means, email me. If you're studying for your CPA, make sure you study hard. If you